Greetings and salutations, everyone, and to the probably the last episode of this little short, uh, short video campaign in which we're having fun with, uh, or some sort of thing with the, uh, the Bengals colony. So, uh, you, me, and a little bit of a war uh, going on right now, and we're done researching stuff. Oh, they actually have divisions down here. Crap. Oh, God. Honduras is down there. I'm trying to make sure not to give them anything, but they probably honestly wind up with stuff, at least this, this one. But, uh, how about we go ahead and, uh, do this? No, we're not going to get all of Mexico, because I'm... Ripping my hair out as we're doing this, but you know, whatever. Because that just, it'd be too much. That's just too much. Free, oh my god, how much are the free fight? What? what happened here? Why did they split California through here, and then not connect the territory, all the way through here, and Kaiser's Legion on the other side? There are some things I just do not understand, my friends. Oh well. I guess I'm not meant to understand. But our Navy's doing very quite well. Level 4, grappling harpoons are pretty good too. Um, anything else? What else do we have around here? And um, we got some really beefy boys. And, you know, if they're not beefy, we don't want them, obviously. And we have a pretty good, uh... We're done with the naval auction, finally, too. Which only took to 2284, but whatever. Um, we core all this up, up, getting up to here. I guess to just mark our way forward, we gotta go that way, but... Losses? Oh, it's glitched, I can't see it now. God dang it. it sucks. We're just destroying the Pecos Navy, so, which, which is cool. Would you like to help out? Not bad. You guys allied with anybody? No? Huh. Got more convoys, convoys. You guys are helping out a little bit at least here. Hope they can do something about that. Um, really, all we have to do is get up to Pecos. I mean, everything else is just kind of like floundery stuff, like it doesn't really matter, because none of it is really cored, so, um, it's honestly not terrible in terms of resistance and whatnot, so I'm not super upset with these guys, I can be if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to be, oh, Joe's army took out, no, 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 they actually killed these guys off, okay, interesting, three fighters, I really wish, how much manpower do they have left, they have none, good, up to 25 divisions max. And we got nothing to spend our technology on that we need to spend technology on. So, we kind of stuck with it. And did also. Reynosa. <coughs> Rio Grande. Looks like a good opportunity for a little bit of uh, destroying three up to three divisions. You're not gonna fail. I'm not gonna let you fail. Very good. Look at all that arm XP. No matter how much we core, it basically gives us not very much at all. And that goes for everything, pretty much. God, it sucks to be a travel nation sometimes. It really does. God, I wish we could see how much damage we've done. That'd be nice. What? Oh, well. Hello. Oops. Um, Gloria has fallen, which is nice, but still not a core state. It's just days of waves. Well, let's we'll take that one, I suppose. Still don't have enough political power to core or anything, but whatever. Spread out and around as we're going to get in a circle here, apparently. <laughs> That's not good. Happy September, though, everybody. Go, 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 go. Hey, we bro broke over, which is pretty good. Now we're going to be flying through here, hopefully. Nice. Next year it looks pretty poor. We're trying good at all. Nice. Yeah, might do that too. Why not? Let's 
These guys would be quite a bit tougher, but that's alright. Let's get to Van Horn. That would be great. Finally, little buddy. Almost there. Get out of my office. Cool. Overall, not bad. Just using and abusing Honduras if we possibly can. Ah, and they had seven score left of that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, honestly, uh, I want to do it like this, and have everyone just kind of defend. But I know it's not going to be enough. So I'm actually probably going to send maybe you guys out from there. You guys can just like help us here and here. And there's another one down here as well. These guys can hang out here. Oh, we can do another focus. Yeah, finally. You were in this game, please go ahead. Industry in this is now decimated. Uh, establish a, or dash Ejercito Mexicano. We'll crush him. In Stroy and Petrochico, the tribal nation's benefactors reveal themselves in all their might. The Ejercito Mexicano. Both the naval power and rival nation are the next threat for us to dispatch in our growth. Fight and there will be a great war with many losses, but it must be done. This simple local factories. While the presence of Santa Anna has surely purged from the lands he once saw, there's no reason to not be thorough, given his warmongering and cutting persona. Removing workshops and workforces from the Mexicano lands, but some deeper in our territory allows more control over the industry we've gained. Not bad. Yeah, but I'm left for they had to come kill us. Oh, we already. Oh, God. No more planes, huh? Well, that's really not good. Would you. Oh, we're out of manpower, too. That's really not good. Move settlers in. Truly integrate the Mexicana lands into our nation. We must ensure the population of these states are loyal to us. Before we're relocating these already living there and introducing our own citizens, we can truly consolidate our hold. In doing so, we'll finally be able to exploit the lands the people we've taken into the fullest. Menace of the Gulf. With the Irish Sheets of Mexico and Ghana and their lands now ours, we have further consolidated our lands or hold on the Gulf of Mexico. We must make proper use of our new coastal states and introducing new dockyards instead of the out of funk Mexico Navy to see how we we'll improve our own fleet. And that's a rain spree. <clears throat> and just like that, we've done it. All who stood in face to us, who have stood in face to us, have either about fallen or bowed before us, for the might of its inner people. Mazo America is ours, and all historic rivals and enemies are no longer there to stop us. We're empowered, driven, and now it's time to use our momentum and ensure that it's an empire is immortalized in history forever. Not a bad idea. Oh my god. Like, are you... What are you doing? Why are you taking so long to get up there? Is it because they have so much resistance? It might be because of that. Yeah, there's resistance. God dang it. No wonder we lost all our manpower. Yeah, it just feels bugged. This plane is this nation just feels very heavily bugged. Because, like, they're moving so slow because of all the resistance and whatnot. Build more millers, we're going to need more. Just in case. Way more of those. Nice. Because these guys actually are pretty decent. Pretty decent, so. Good. That's good, at least. Oh, it's this one next. Oh, crap. Oh, I should have went to war. Well, it's going to take a little bit longer for us then. So, in five days, a lot So, guys. hopefully, the TAA nation will slowly fall apart. As we're actually doing okay up here, which is actually a little surprising. We're not doing well down here at all. Resistance is still ungodly high. Which is so stupid. I hate this. I hate the stupid mechanic. You should be able to be seen as a liberator, but that'd be very hard to do in Old World Blues, but like still, like, man, like, bro, like, broski, brosif. It looks like they might, yeah, they might have weakened themselves a little bit. We're not very strong, though. I mean, infantry just sucks in general, like I said before. Countless times. A countless times. But we're doing okay now. 
especially as the guys are pushing in, moving in. Special Forces are taking them to Pound Town, which we love. Uh, we guys probably actually do okay there too. Maybe, maybe not. Oh well, let's keep them fighting. So I can't see how much how many casualties we've inflicted, but whatever. 55 divisions max, 4,000 extra manpower. <sighs> and we're finally pushing in. We're doing okay. Not great though. The Kalumpt is doing all right. He's becoming a desert fox though. He's a little slow, but okay. Almost 400 political power. This is nice. Happy uh, April. So let's get down here. Nice. Finally, map is going up a little bit by a little bit, but it's not very much. Keep him in place. Hey, in a second one, two divisions. There you go. TWA Estate. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get that one undone. Beautiful. And that's pretty much it for the focuses. Nice. Just keep a crap ton of pressure on them. I was hoping it would be another to Spec Ops, but whatever. Hey, you know, we're about to take it. Not bad. We kick on Honduras, which I'm glad we actually had them now. They're actually very useful, surprisingly. Slowly closing in on all sides, and Crystal City's ours. Which won the campaign pretty much for us. I apologize for how short these videos were this entire thing. Honestly, we could have done this in a couple of, uh, like, like three, four episodes maybe, but, you know, it takes a lot of time doing this. But, we're looking halfway decent. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.